What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jared and you guys are now on the 60 Bros channel and today we're going to be doing a product review. Now I haven't done one of these in quite a while and I've been mean I got to get caught up on these. But first, if you guys haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Leave us a like if you enjoy this video and don't forget to comment down below with any thoughts or ideas for the video or channel. Now with that spiel out of the way, let's get moving on with this video and that is, is the Garrett Powermax Turbo a bad turbo? Short answer, absolutely not. If you're looking for a fairly cost effective, mild upgrade for your truck, go get a Powermax. It's a great turbo. The key to it is remember, you need to get your all your tunes revised or if you're running stock programming, you need to get a tune to deal with the increased lag that this turbo is going to create. Apples to apples, you can't increase the size of your turbo and, de and decrease the lag time. That doesn't make any sense. Now what you can do is slap a smaller turbine side on it, and if you're used to the O3s, then yeah, you'll have faster spool up and you'll enjoy your turbo. But a ton of people love the whistle associated with the O3 and the Powermax style turbos, and that's what they want to hear. So the smaller 13 blade turbine wheel is not an option. So what I'm gonna talk about in this video is, I'm gonna basically go over what some of the complaints that I hear people talk about with the Powermax turbo, and if I've experienced them or not, Obviously already, I, I recommend this turbo, guys. Go buy one. If you need a turbo and you want a mild upgrade for your truck, Powermax Turbo, dollar for dollar is hard to beat. Now, I can already hear people talking about, but Jared, it comes with a cast wheel and everybody online says the cast wheel is awful. That just hasn't been my experience and I think it's kind of overplayed. Now, don't get me wrong, I am a sample size of one. But now I've also talked to Greg at Diesel and Automotive who I bought this turbo from. If you guys haven't already, go check him out on Instagram and Facebook. But he said he's put a ton of these turbos on six liters and everyone has always been happy. So I took his word for it, I bought it, and I love it. It's a great turbo. Now we're gonna talk about the whole billet wheel thing in a little bit. What we're gonna talk about now are what are the complaints about the turbo and that is, Everybody talks about turbo lag. We'll get more into that. Surging within certain RPMs, I have not experienced that at all. In my truck, it's been perfect. I have, in towing, towing was a big one. Surging was with towing, if I remember correctly. And I gotta tell you, I haven't experienced that either. And just overall drivability complaints have been the main things I've heard about the Powermax with a cast wheel. Now everybody also does say the holy grail to fixing the Powermax is a billet wheel, which I don't have experience with on a Powermax. I did make that switch on my stock turbo, but you don't ever hear the complaints about a stock turbo compared to the Powermax either. So the first thing, the first two things I want to quick talk about are the drivability concerns and the surging. I have experienced neither, and that's why we're going to start with them, is because they're the easiest to get over with. I've had none of them. Uh, they have both been absent for me. I've had no drivability issues. I've had no surging at any RPM band. I have towed my fifth wheel, which is about 12,500 to 13,000 pounds, somewhere in there upwards of 2100 feet elevation so even at elevation the turbo performed well that's not to say that at that height you don't see a performance decrease you do but you do with any turbo uh, on the market you're going to see a decrease in performance because the air is thinner there's less oxygen in it and drivability concerns daily driving it's fine minimal lag and uh, it just does well i've had no surging it does whatever I need it to do at any RPM, at any speed. And I've also taken it to the track too. And it did very well there as well. I'm really what did bad at the track. This guy, not the track. Which brings us to our last complaint and that is turbo lag. And what I wanna say about that is one, the increase I've noticed, very, very minimal. Next to nothing. 
but I would be lying if I said there wasn't at least a very slight increase in turbo lag. However, I remember when the truck was stock, it really just spools like a stock 03 did for me. It's not bad at all. It still performs very well. So yeah, there's a slight increase, but if you're used to driving like a stock truck with an 03 turbo in it, it's nothing different than that when you're running tunes for a PowerMax turbo. So I have towed with this, I've daily driven it, I've put this at the track, and I also forgot to mention I put this on the dyno. And running the exact tune I have in right now, that is Innovative Diesel Performance's Ultimate X Tune, which is a blast. Still trying to work some of the kinks out with it, but for the most part, wow. It, it blows any other tune I've run in this truck completely away. And I also put down 503 horsepower and 1,010 feet-pound of torque on the rollers. That was Diesel Doctor in Pennsylvania. That's whose dyno I was on. And just, wow, I was beyond happy with the results. So now, on top of it, we are, again, we are taking a sample size of one. But I've had none of these complaints, yet everyone tells me the billet wheel is a better design. Now, I'm not arguing that it is or is not a better design. I just haven't seen any proof of it. No one's dynoed it. No one's dragged it. Like, I want a comparison, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a comparison between the cast wheel that's in this truck and the billet wheel, and I will most likely be purchasing uh, Charlie at KC Turbo's wheel, have buy his wheel and put it in the truck. That's probably the best bet that I can come up with. So I don't want to get into the specifics of why the cast, people say the cast wheel is bad and the billet wheel is better, but I am going to do a video on this and what we're going to do is basically we're going to head back up to the same dyno this truck has already been on, but with the billet wheel installed. We're going to do some back road testing as well, measure boost, um, what else can we measure on here? Let me think here. We're gonna measure boost. I can't do exhaust back pressure on this tune, but then mass airflow is another one I'd like to do. We'll be able to keep an eye on our exhaust temps, and also we can do intake temp. I think that'd be a cool one. So those are the parameters I'm gonna to use to try to test this, just daily driving it, see what numbers the stock setup, just like it is now does. I guess I'm not stock any. You guys know what I mean check that out and then swap in the billet wheel, do some more testing and then head back up to the dyno and slap it back on the rollers and see what it can do with the billet wheel. And because I know everybody's going to ask my opinion, uh, I'll give it now. I think the difference will be minimal. I do, however, believe there'll be a difference. So we'll see what happens, but I do think there'll be a ever so slight difference I don't think we'll see an increase in how fast it spool, the turbo itself spools up because I think most of the weight difference between the two is negligible in the sense of we take a shorter wheel design and then we make it taller. Even though we'll have a thinner center hub, we also now have a taller overall design. I will be weighing them, but I think generally speaking, they're probably really, really close. So I don't think we'll necessarily see faster spool up, but I do think we'll see an ever so slight difference in its ability to pull more air into the truck. So that is what I think. If you guys are in the market for a turbo, I highly recommend to give the PowerMax a good look because it's a relatively cheap option in comparison to some of the other options out there. I'm not downplaying any other turbo company at all in what they do. But I'm just saying, I highly recommend the PowerMax Turbo. You can get it locally by you by probably at least 10 different shops if you're looking for it. And then you're able to also have that warranty and a person to go to with that warranty. Again, not saying anything bad about KC Turbo or uh, Barter was another name. I think he kind of dropped out. 86 Industries, I want to say. You guys know the Turbos more than me, I think. but. Uh, go check these guys out, weigh all your options, but consider a stock PowerMax with the cast wheel because it's been a great performing truck. Just remember to get your tunes revised for it. 
Otherwise, you're gonna have issues no matter what. If you guys like this upload, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you think of the channel, guys. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next upload.